Ju, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series straight from Busy Home Beats, and I'm just going to show you how to get a clean and very nice mix. You understand? So let me play some part of the vocals for you, for you to listen, and um, I'll just show you a trick in getting very clean and nice vocals here. So with all the effect on it, this is how the vocal sound. <laughs> Mini me hushi, mini me hushi, sano siye, mini me hushi, mini me hushi, sano kawo. Na so me mba me jisi kawo uho, me sore, embe di di wo uho. You can see that the vocal sound clean and clear, right? Yeah, so the normal processing, I have auto tune on it, and I'm a half kit on it, yeah. So... If you come here, if I just take all the effect on it from it, this is how the raw vocal sound. Mata diye ye ba kupe, me mpa bua ba kupe, me di di aje me sere, o bre yi di e me bre. Mi ni me hon shi, mi ni me hon shi, sa no si e, mi ni me hon shi, mi ni me hon shi, sa no ka u. Ok, so... If you just let me just activate everything you have. So these are the processing that I actually did on it after um putting no auto tune and um, this thing on it. I'll just show you a trick in it. So just make sure you watch to the end. Um, I'm going to show you a trick for you to get a very nice sounding vocal. See if you record your vocals well and after mixing you that you don't feel that your vocals sound interesting and nice. So first of all, you know EQ. I didn't do too much of the EQ because I felt like um I recorded it well. So the next one is um my dynamic range. You understand? Yeah. So I compress it uh, using um Fafita Pro here. So minus twenty two threshold and um the ratio is four, then five attack and fast fast attack and also fast release around sixty three point nine milliseconds. Yes. Then the next one is um. EQ. I did um, another EQ. I EQ the low ends and also some part of the um, vocals after I compress it and I saw that this is how this part is actually disturbing me. So I did EQ it out. Um, and I put this compressor on it to tighten it up after EQing and doing those kind of compression. I just want to tighten it, tighten the vocal. So let me just mute this one and see how it sounds then i'll just activate this then you see how it sounds normally i like to use two eqs or uh, two or more eqs or two or more compressors because i don't like to make sure that the one eq is actually taking all the problem like it becomes very heavy for the uh, the plugin to work like that you understand but if you share the problems with um two three um either eq or compressors for them to work um it works perfectly and nicely you understand Okay, so without this compressor, this is how it sounds. I say my tadi aye ba kupe, me mpa bua ba kupe, me di di aje me sere, o bre yi di me bre. Me ni me hushi, me ni me hushi, sa no si e, me ni me hushi, me ni me hushi, sa no ka u. Sorry, it's not in English, it's in my local language, tree. So if I put this compressor on it, just notice the changes over here. Check the changes. You can see how this wave looks like and how this one also looks like so just check let me just deactivate it and check it again you can see that this part becomes loud when this compressor is not there but if i put it on it you can see that it de um it makes it not 100 percent even but um on a normal way me di di aje me sere, o bre yi di e me bre. Mi ni me hon shi, mi ni me hon shi, sa no si e, mi ni me hon shi, mi ni me hon shi, sa no ka u. Na so me mba me jisi ka u. You can see that this wave is even bigger than this one, but the volume level is actually nice and clean at the same level, you understand, yes. So I did put the treasure around minus 25, and um, fast attack of 10, and slow release of 1 to 9. Then this threshold i didn't put the makeup around o2 and when you're using far filter you can see that most of the time the um, gain here is o2 
that one add a whole lot of um, i mean volume to it if you don't understand you gain staging well and everything you might just leave it like that and your volume will be really loud without you even noticing it you get it so after mix you can see that your your vocals will be louder than your beat which you might not notice it. so most of the times i have to take this one off and make sure i do um, manual um gain staging i mean trying to make sure my beat and my vocals are actually level and they are balanced well you understand yes so most of the time i take this auto gain makeup or auto gain distance just off so that i can just make sure i'm just balancing everything using my yes and everything very well and the next thing is ds you know the work of the ds taking away the semblances so i set it around minus 40 and um, i like the way it sounds because this thing was not giving me too much of semblances because i didn't boost the high ends very well you understand yes but the reason i put it there was because i did um put a saturation distortion on it you understand i put a distortion on it so we will get into that so this is the reverb setting so i do a reverb and if you are just starting up using keybase i don't like to put my reverb on it straight forward like this Mo most of the time if i'm mixing more than um 10 tracks or like i love to use one um, reverb or two three reverb so that i can control my reverb rather than putting reverb on each and every track or yes so these are the settings for the reverb you understand so decay around 3.10 seconds and iq the low ends around 48 hertz 480 hertz i put the mode to play so that's the only settings i did here i didn't even calculate the reverb um pre-delay yeah so i left it like that and it sounds good for me so with the reverb on it this is how it sounds <laughs> so i didn't put too much reverb on it you understand right? just minus 15 point first seven because i wanted the vocal to sound heavy and right in your face together with the beat and everything you understand that so you have to know the difference whenever you are mixing you know that okay this the way the instrument is i just want to feel the reverb or i want to hear the reverb just understand these two concepts there yes so and the next thing is my what do we call it uh, my delay here yes so one over four feedback of 20.5 and the mix of this that's the only thing i did here yeah i'm not using waves because um i flushed my pl uh, plugins and my hard disk to is external hard disk to is missing so i have a whole lot of plugins which i've actually lost it so i don't worry everything will be fine and um the last thing that i wanted to show is this plugin over here i don't even know how i got it um, I was just trying uh, trying to install a distortion and I just went to my distortion and I saw this thing over there. Where is it? Not even distortion. Here. Yeah, small plugins and uh, I was coming for a reverb. I had a room. This one. Yes, I was coming for this one. Then I saw this thing and I said, let me just look at this. What is that? I don't know how I got it. Maybe I install it from a uh, software which I don't know. So if I install new windows probably to, I will just miss but it's a very good distortion plugin that you can just search and try on um I'll make sure that I search it and see where I got it from so there's a distortion so let me just solo the vocals okay the vocals is already soloed so let me just put too much of it on it and see how it sounds so right now 25 so let's say this you see what it's doing to the vocals and let me change it from this to this um let me see this guy you understand so this thing is actually giving me some feel it gives me the presence but that's why i put those dsl there just to around 40 hertz it makes the vocals really heavy and clean you understand not too much of it Okay, let's see this guy. So this is what I'm actually adding small to. So if I just have to adjust this. See the way the vocals have become heavy and it's like inside the room or something like that. Yes, it's a very nice plugin. Yes, I've loved it since I've. I came across it yes so this is what i was actually using this one and i've did oh yes i did not even touch the thing so so with this one this is what i'm actually adding 
Passe ma tadie ba koupe, min pa bwa ba koupe, min di di a jim misre, o bre yu di a me bwa. So it sounds like some stereo kind of distortion thing, you understand, yes. So and it's making the song very nice and clean. So let me just play it together with the beat and them. See how um everything goes. Just a simple song. Um, I'm still on the mix, maybe. Yes. That's what I just wanted to show you. That plugin works very nice for me. So this is your working. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also thumbs up and also comment down there. I hope you did learn one or two things from this tutorial. Yes, and I'm out. <laughs>